So the prayer of Shebe has actually had a lot of people talking on social media. I wanted to talk about that particular subject and also about the present place of young people in South Africa, including the subject matter that recently came up of a young man by the name of Ghost Shubi. He does like trend videos and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, he's, he's not the best character out there. And there's been a recent statement of his girlfriend kind of parting with him. I, yeah, yeah. I just pray about it, pray about it. Pray. We went to church together. together. He taught me that Angazi, Genesis is the first, um, is the first verse. Yeah. Genesis, like, <laughs> and I wanted to bring that, uh, that particular story as well into frame right here on this particular episode. Wait, wait, so before we go, hey, Penduka, before we go, Sheba Sheet wants to pray for us, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants us to hold hands. Okay, cool. Let's hold hands, man. Oh, All together, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's All right, hold cool. hands. Let's pray, man. All right. Wait, the mic. Yeah, I can hold the mic. Yeah. 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 In the name of Jesus, eh, gyal ebo wa. Mudi munta ti, mudi mora, mudi moyo halla. Kame thala kame thala, mudi mu bo nor chile riching. Ise kapa thala ba rehne, lega kapa thala ba. Amen. The structure of the show, the daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over here, to be sure to check out the other videos that are down in the blue comments. And I would love to start first of all with the scripture from Timothy, highlighting that young people should seek to be examples. He says, do not let anybody despise uh, the youth of your age, but rather be an example. So who, you are an example to who? Not just to other young people, but also a, a young person, a, a influential to those that are older as well. Be an example of what the scripture lays out. That's what the Bible tells us. Now, he also does warn to flee youthful lust. That's what the Bible also brings into context. So it brings out to good moral behavior. Unlike what the world tells us to do, they tell us, you know, be wild, you have a sh such an amount of time and so forth. So they want us to misbehave while we are young. By which most people live. Well, in a nutshell, do what you want. And that ethically, there's no greater commandment than the law of Philema, Greek for will, as famously stated in the 40th verse of chapter 1. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. We do what we want to do when we want to do it. And he must, uh, as a Satanist, knowing this, realizing what his human potential is, eventually, and here is one of the essential points of Satanism, attain his own Godhead in accordance with his own potential. What, that, what does it mean to whip your hair back and forth? It means like, Basically, it's the new I'm me. Mm -hmm. It's basically like, mm, it's not me. I'm doing what I want to do. It's kind of the contrary of what these two verses are actually giving an example of. But also, if you go back into Romans chapter number 12, it then gives more of this framing. It says that to renew our mind, okay, to be renewed and not to follow within the world's footsteps, who is the world? The world is those that have no aspiration to have a restored relationship with God. Now, the video of Shebe has a lot of tongues wetling. Now, the reason for this is because, you know, we don't, we didn't see him, particularly as a guy who even prays. Wait, wait, so before we go, hey, Penduka, before we go, Shebe Sheet wants to pray for us, man. He wants us to hold hands. Okay, cool. Let's hold hands, man. All together, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's hold hands. Let's pray, man. All right, wait, the mic. Yeah, I can hold the mic. Yeah, I'm going to go to the mic. Yeah. I'm going to go to the the mic. I'm going to go to 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 the mic. I'm going Amen. Amen. Ayate, ayate. That I found quite interesting in the prayer, or at the ending of the prayer, there's moments where you, you know, maybe he's not used to praying before people and so forth. But 
he is very limited in what he he could say so he's not he's not speaking like one who's a disciple he's not there like praying every day or something like that so you can tell he's kind of like getting his footsteps in that prayer but to to get there and say let us all pray for people that have been out there doing blow jobs and and all that kind of stuff who have been doing that for him to get there and that's the thing that he asked it's a very interesting one but at the same time it reminds us in the day it reminds me particular i keep referencing this particular statement that Oscar made when we were interviewing her particularly about her life story and she spoke about the most dangerous part of this entire thing in nowadays of social media is that there was water and milk and then you must break the egg i don't know if you put the egg as it is or you break it i did that so you saw a crime on, on TikTok? I had seen it long time ago. Oh. But now remember, I met the t I met this. Uh, you are at the phase where you're testing. At the phase where I'm like, no, man, why not? You understand? Because when, when you open TV, you see them. Every it's trending. It's a trending thing. That's how the enemy operates. Maximizes on that to put everybody on public as public figures. Everybody can be an influencer. Everybody can influence other people on what they believe, on what they think. And she spoke about TikTok. Now everybody, anybody can just pull up a phone and influence people. Or, and that can lead to all kinds of problems, as we stated, or as she stated in that interview. And I found that particular part, you know, I saw one person actually had posted that on Facebook had said, it's quite an interesting one that out of all the guests that have been there, he's, <laughs> he's the first that they could remember who has actually asked for them to pray. What influence does one hold? I, yeah, yeah. I just pray about it, pray about it. Pray. We went to church together. together. He taught me that Genesis is the first, um, is the first verse. Yeah. Genesis, like, <laughs> but the part that I wanted out of that story was that the girl that he was dating, that he, he dumped and skipped back to that girlfriend, she came out and she said, Ghost Ruby was teaching her the Bible. He was quoting the Bible in some formal ways when she was in her tears, you know. Uh, it was a very heartbreaking video. And so you'll understand why I wanted to quote this particular verses that I say I want to quote. And so if you haven't seen that particular part, I hope I played it for you a little bit there. Now, after that video came out, people were kind of like, you know, it was just a more critical thing. But it kind of reminded me of this thing, young people being an example particularly in the light of Timothy. Paul says to Timothy, do not let anybody look down on your youth, but rather be an example unto them. And so that perspective of being an example unto others, even adults, uh, kind of rang out in my mind. And I thought it was quite an interesting one to look at. Because a lot of times we are being told, you know, when, in, our young, in our young days, we should just be wild, do all the things that we want to do. But the Bible says, no, we should be an example, whether it be moral behavior or up, you know, our perspective to the faith, we should seek to be an example. But not only seek to be an example, what I find quite interesting about that verse as well is that it puts you at a position where you're not just being an example to young people, but also to those that are older in the faith. It gives you a responsibility of behavior out there. And so he's quoting verses. I guess he was trying to quote Bible verses for her. But then the moral behavior that follows after, it's not really a good one. Now, in the light of Shebe's story, when he's supposedly praying on this show, uh, if you did watch the story, or if you did watch the video, you will note um, how he, personally, how I got introduced to him. It was a video where he was challenging Munata out of nowhere. He just started fighting Munata. Munata is another musician, very popular in South Africa, for those that are outside the country. And so he had just been fighting. So I, I knew him as that guy who just, you know, uh, rascal he's just he's just doing the most out there right it's just yeah it's whatever so i saw him as that guy so when he went to podcast and chill i i haven't watched this the show 
there was this prayer that was trending. And so that prayer, when it came out, the thing we might have looked at that moment and said, you know, yeah, this, is a, this is a guy and he got into a podcast where people get there, they do all kinds of things and he asked for them to have a prayer. Brings back the question, what influence are you? Do you influence people towards hatred? It's the very same thing that we were speaking about on the live video which we did on Facebook where we were talking about the love that everybody shared and celebrated after the ball keys won, right? It was very clear we shared one nationality. But when political stories come up, or when political subjects come up, we seem to be so divided that we can't even have the decency of conversation. What influence do you have? And what influence do you hold? I know that after that, we then start talking about subject matters of discipleship, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to reuse this particular episode. You know, Ghost Ruby had this particular girl, he quoted a verse, you know, she, she wasn't even sure how to quote it. She wasn't sure if it was a book or if it was a verse. She just said Genesis, you, know, you even took her to, to Genesis. And so, Ghost Ruby was there uh, bringing up verses. But unfortunately, he then portrays a certain type of a behavior that discredits the verses that he posed or the verses that he brought up. What influence? Do you hold it's the reality show with daily Christian commentary videos as we go on with our day? Have a lovely Friday, and y'all think about that one. It's Ricky, y'all have a good one.